I'm gonna show you the just released Magic Mask object selection tool that sneakily came out in a DaVinci Resolve 18 beta update. Now, how the heck do you use it? What effects can you make with it? And is it really even that good? Well, let's find out. In DaVinci Resolve 18 on the timeline, I have some footage right here of a car driving. Now to actually access this Magic Mask object selection tool, you need to go over to the color page right here. And then you'll go over to Magic Mask section right here. So it's actually gonna be the first option up. You can see Magic Mask object. Then you can over, always switch over to the person, which is going to select the person features, right? Person or you know specific features of a person right there. However, we are talking about object selection today. So we wanna add to our selection. So I'm gonna just go ahead and draw all over this car right here, just kind of trace it around like this. And you can see that with the mask overlay on, our car is being selected. So I can just go ahead and add some extra points if I need to, like the wheels right here. So now that you've got everything selected, you can choose the quality of the track that you want. Do you want it a faster track, which is going to, of course, take faster, but it's gonna be lower quality, and that's not always a bad thing. Or do you want it to be better, right? Better is gonna take more time, but it has better results. For this, because there's a lot of movement, I'm gonna click better, and then I'll go ahead and hit track forward and reverse right here. And you can see that DaVinci Resolve is taking some time to actually track and analyze this. However, when it gets done, you can see that it's, dude, it's on there. Like it is, it's not moving. So this has done a really good job at keeping the mask to the car, which is honestly really crazy. Like I never thought the magic mask tool was gonna actually be something I wanted to use a lot, but it, it is, I, I like this, this is cool. Now, if you wanna remove something from your selection, what you can do is click the deselect button right here and just draw around whatever you don't want. Over there, I was selecting part of the bush and I really don't want that. So I'm gonna just now hit track forward and reverse one more time and DaVinci Resolve is gonna work its magic and make sure that what I said I didn't want to select is not selected. Now, before I show you a cool effect that you can do with this, if you like learning new and faster ways to make your videos better with DaVinci Resolve, then feel free to turn on the all notifications for this channel because I'm gonna be posting some more DaVinci Resolve 18 videos really soon. So what can we actually do with this? Well, first off, go ahead and deselect the toggle mask overlay right here. And then let's say you just want to remove the background and leave the car. Well, you can totally do that. We're gonna right click, go to add alpha output and then grab the alpha output right here and connect them together. Now you can see that the background is removed and the car is here. So the cool thing we can do with this is if we go back to the edit page, grab our footage right here and bring it up to the layer three and then we grab the source footage again and put it below it just like this, we can actually put something in the middle. Then we can go ahead and just add in a title in between the clip and what's gonna happen is part of the title is gonna be covered up by the car. So if I go ahead and move my title even lower, you can see that the car is actually covering up the title. This honestly leads to so many possibilities in the future. Speaking of titles, if you wanna save time without sacrificing the quality of your videos, then you have to check out our best selling clean call out title pack. Now they are jammed packed with 30 fully customizable titles that are designed for speed, creativity, and functionality. And they're also fully optimized to support PC and M1 chips. I'll drop a link to them in the description below. Check them out. It's one of the ways that you can support me as a creator. So overall guys, this tool is awesome. Honestly, I couldn't recommend it enough. So for those of you who don't have the studio version, you're not gonna be able to play around with this, but it's just another reason you could upgrade to the studio version because not only do you get this, but you get like a ton of other cool things. Now, in order for this feature to actually work, you need to download and install DaVinci Resolve 18. So click here and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. Or you can click this other video instead. Until the next one, peace.